Hey guys, Mikhail here for another device deal video. Today we're looking at the new addition to the Arlo family, which is the Arlo Pro 5. A camera with cutting edge clarity and powerful protection, as with some minor improvements on the Pro 4, but it's got a lot of the same features of the Pro 4 as well. We'll go through the full specs in a moment and show you not just the specs itself, but the comparisons between the models as well. So we're going to show you what's inside the box now. We did open it up a little bit earlier just to have a look ourselves, but we've just placed it back in here to show you guys what it looks like when you open it up. So just to show. So from the opening, you will find, of course, the camera itself with the housing already on, the rechargeable battery, a mount. So this one we've opened up here is just for a single pack. So just a reminder, the single pack will come with a screw mount, but if you're going to get multi-packs, those will include a magnetic mounts as well. So a two pack will come with one magnetic and one screw mount. If you go for something like a four pack, for example, that will include two magnetic and two screw mounts. So you get a variety to choose which ones you enjoy. If you prefer one over the other, you can always purchase one of the other mounts to complement your product as well. So then inside you've still got the mount alt and the screw kits as well. Got to show those. Then you've also got a magnetic charging cable. This will be roughly about a meter long and can just have the magnetic side that connects to the camera underneath there. This is for your charging purposes. It'll come with a little quick instructional guide and some window decal just to show people that you are being protected. Uh, and that's it. Okay, so now we're gonna go through the whole reason you probably clicked on this video, the specifications. What makes this camera so great? First of all, the resolution. It's had a 2K resolution camera, so it's got really, really high picture quality as well as some really solid night vision as well. So that's something that this camera has that I think a lot of ones in the market might not have. It does give you that color night vision, primarily through the spotlight that's on that camera. So it can also kind of light up an area a little bit, but it's not gonna be anything dramatic. It's really more just to provide that color night vision and at a really high quality resolution as well. The field of view is 160 degrees wide. So you can see quite far, oh sorry, quite wide with this camera. Uh, probably higher than average compared to most other cameras in the market. Um, just based on my experience, a lot of these cameras seem to kind of max out at maybe like 130 degrees or so. So this being 160 is gonna allow you to see a lot more uh, to a lot of the competitors out in the market as well. And then one of the features that I think is really handy for people um, is that it's got an ability to connect directly to Wi-Fi. And with the Pro 5, one of the differences to the Pro 4, which will uh, go into a bit more detail on later on in the video, is that it can connect to dual band Wi-Fi. So both the 2.4 gigahertz band and 5 gigahertz band, just giving you more flexibility options with the connectivity and can allow things like you know greater speeds or less latency as well. So the cameras are UV protected and they are water resistant. So these can be used and they're actually recommended for both indoor and outdoor use. When it comes to the motion sensor itself, so as these are motion activated cameras, there is of course a sensor which needs to be triggered in order for the cameras to start recording and let you know that it's recording. Uh, the, the length on that is roughly about eight meters. So if you're getting these cameras, you can kind of plan where they're gonna go or where you wanna place them and how you wanna angle them. Just keep that in mind is that Roughly about eight meters is how close movement needs to be from the camera in order to actually trigger it to start the recordings. So the cameras also have a high sensitivity microphone and of course have two-way audio. So if someone's coming to your door, you have the ability to hear them through the microphone and speak to them as well. And with that high quality or high sensitivity microphone, it just makes sure that you're not gonna miss any important audio. Now you may or may not know, but there is a, an optional subscription which is available to the Arlo cameras. A cool thing about the new Pro 5 is that it does come with a trial, so you get to trial it out for three months it is, and then you can get to decide whether you want to continue on with it or if you just want to cancel it. So I do want to emphasize that you can operate these cameras without the subscription. There's of course some features you're going to lose, but it is something that can still be used without it. It will still function. So as far as what that subscription does include, the biggest thing that it's going to use that people want the subscription for is the cloud storage. So cloud storage gives you the ability to view clips on your phone uh, for a rolling 30-day period and you can see it wherever you are in the world. Doesn't matter 
If you're overseas, interstate, at work, wherever you are, you're going to be able to see those clips, which is extremely, extremely handy. Another really handy feature is the activity zones. So you might have your camera in a, situated in an area and you only want to be notified when there's movement in a specific area of the field. Maybe in the backyard, you don't want to be notified when the animals are moving around, so you only want to be notified when there's someone peeking over the back fence, something like that. You can isolate that section and then you're not getting all these unnecessary notifications as well. Uh, a third thing is that they call like enhanced AI detection. Essentially, it's just the being able to be told what kind of motion is being detected. So it can tell you whether it was a person detected, a package, an animal, something along those lines. You know, just a little bit more information, a bit more rich uh, information on those notifications. So if you're someone that isn't too keen on going with the subscription, now don't fret, there is still options for you. So if you don't have the subscription, you won't get those things I've just mentioned previously. And you know, for a lot of people, there might not be too many concerns with the activity zones or the rich notifications, but storage is something that people do stress about with me. And so my advice to them is that you can go for the local storage option. Now, in order to do that, you will need to get an Arlo Smart Hub. So these packs that we've gone through today, these are non-inclusive of the hub because it does become an optional feature as they can connect directly to Wi-Fi. But if you don't want the subscription and you want to be able to store footage, you can grab a base station, hook that up to the internet, link the cameras to the base, and then you can use a local storage drive, usually like a USB stick or external hard drive up to two terabyte. Um, so if you do that, the only downside in that scenario we found is that um, it's a little bit difficult to get the remote access that you do with cloud storage. So you'll have the footage and if you're in the same Wi-Fi network as the base, you can see the footage on your phone in the app, but if you're not, uh, then that becomes a little bit more difficult. You have to go through a feature called direct storage access. Uh, and sometimes it involves port forwarding. It gets a little bit, um, it gets a little bit complicated, but it is possible. But the success rate is a bit 50/50. So, yeah, that's what I guess want to say is that if you're not going to go for the base, or sorry, you're not going to go for the subscription, I would highly recommend you get a base station, just so you still do have a method of local storage that you can um, achieve with these cameras. So in this section, we want to just briefly go through what actual differences you're getting from the Pro 4 that's currently in the market versus the Pro 5. The, probably the biggest difference that they've made that's going to have the most impact on customers' experience is the battery life. They advertise a 30% larger battery life and they've now improved, I'm um, sorry, they've now included some uh, additional kind of modes or low power saving modes or low operating modes to, in, to improve that efficiency with the battery to make sure that you can stretch it out as much as humanly possible. On top of that, you can even you know, change the resolution. So if you want to reduce the, sense of the resolution for a period of time, you can, and then that could also in, you know, preserve battery even further. So the battery life on this has actually got a really nice improvement. Now, uh, they have given us you know, an estimate on the battery life, but I really, really want to emphasize here, guys, that this is purely based on kind of some minimal use. I, I wouldn't take what these guys say as gospel as far as the battery life. They recommend that it could go up to eight months battery life. That's probably gonna be on, you know, kind of low minimal use. So um, don't necessarily go out there with like the 100% expectation that's what it's gonna get because everyone is different. But at the same time, they are showing that they have acknowledged some issues in the past that people had with the battery life and they've made some improvements. So some other features that we can talk about with this camera, it's got a siren, siren built inside the camera. Um, on some other systems, there might be a siren that's in the base of the camera, oh sorry, the base station connected to the camera. So that's not really useful to indoors. You want to deter people if it's an outdoor camera. So with the Arlo's, there's a siren built in the camera, can deter people from outdoors before they even get in, which is fantastic. So the other primary difference between the Pro 4 and the Pro 5 camera is that the Pro 5 has the ability to connect to dual band Wi-Fi. So that means both the 2.4 gigahertz band and 5 gigahertz band. Now in plain English, the main benefits of that just means that there's going to be less buffering and faster video loading times. So that just allows you again to have better connectivity based on your Wi-Fi, uh, your Wi-Fi availability. Some people might have different range extenders or mesh systems and the cameras can connect to those. Ultimately, the better the connection to internet the camera has, the better your experience will be. As I mentioned, it'll still have you know, less buffering and just faster loading times altogether. So there you have it, guys. To conclude, the, Arlo, the new Arlo Pro 5 is a really nice improvement from the previous Arlo Pro 4. While there isn't a huge amount of differences as far as the, the features and specs go, what the things that they have made improvements are, 
improvements on are extremely important, especially based basing on all the feedback there was on the previous model. So uh, two of those biggest improvements are the battery life, which they now say can go up to eight months, of course, depending on your scenario. Uh, but they've also got improved battery saving modes like low power mode and things like that to improve your battery efficiency and battery life overall. Another improvement they've done is on the Wi-Fi side of things where they have now got dual band Wi-Fi to improve your loading times and less buffering. So on top of all that, you've got the same features that are also extremely handy in a security camera like 2K resolution, a spotlight and color night vision. You've also got your <clears throat> siren built into the camera. Uh, and as I mentioned, yeah, the color night vision and the 160 degree field of view. So again, everything that you really want in a camera. We've also briefly talked about um, your storage options, such as the subscription, which will be free for the first three months and then followed by a monthly subscription or an annual. That's a new feature they've improved as well. Uh, or you can go for a local storage option if you didn't want to go down that route, uh, but you would need to go for an Arlo base station. We have plenty more of this kind of information on our website and on our YouTube channel, so feel free to check it out. If you guys have any more, inf uh, any more questions for us regarding the camera systems, the subscriptions, anything alike, please feel free to reach out to us. You can comment down below or contact us. Uh, we've got a phone number. We do an online live chat as well. We're really happy to answer any questions you guys have. And if you want to find out any more information on these cameras or the, the launch date or pricing for the Pro 5s, make sure to check out the description below. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you in the next one.